Good morning. It's nice to be able to be back and talking to you guys again. It's been a few days. I don't think I've made anything about what I've been doing since I left the, the Dolphins game on Sunday and uh, Monday, finished making that video for you guys. But I, I wanted to be able to come to you today because it has been a very interesting week since then. And I'm not really sure what the Lord's putting on my heart today to talk to you about. But I know I've got to talk to you because it's it's been profound this week. It's been... Well, let me just tell you what happened. Let's see. Monday, obviously, I, I got back. And, or I got back Sunday night. And Monday got straight back to work. And it was one of those weeks where I had to focus a lot on the, the job that I do during the day. And it has been tough trying to learn this new job and do this YouTube channel at the same time because, you know, neither one of them by themselves pay the bills. And to be honest with you, <laughs> they're both kind of struggling right now. So it's it's been difficult. And so I've had a lot on my mind. And Monday I was exhausted, as I mentioned in that video. Well, Tuesday I didn't get a whole lot less exhausted. So I kind of took a break Tuesday from doing any exercise, but I still ate right. I tell you, it's it's been great being able to have a wonderful steak. I haven't had any eggs this week. Not that that's a big issue. It's just something I've noticed that all of a sudden I stopped wanting to have eggs. I tried that for about a month and I just sort of wanted to have steak again. I think it's because I got ribeyes again. It sure makes a big difference when you got the the meat you love with the amount of fat you need to really just do your diet right makes a big difference but trying to manage both my day job and doing the YouTube channel and doing it the way I've been doing it where I do a lot of heavy editing um, because I'm trying to make sure I make it piffy and keep it going quickly for you but I realize that I'm gonna burn out trying to do it at all if I keep doing it the way I've been doing so I've decided that I'm just gonna go with a more straight approach I'll put my clips together like just now I stopped recording for a moment just so a car could pass and it wouldn't be a lot of engine noise in the background. So you'll still, it'll look like there'll be some editing, but it won't be as much as I've done in the past. Uh, it's partially because sometimes I don't even know, it's, it's not always easy to come up with content every day, but I realize that all I need to do is just tell you what's going on because it has been a journey that I've been on and there's more of it you need to know about. Heck, I've already shared with you everything going on with my my uh, urology visit and <laughs> stuff that I'm not even sure I'm comfortable talking about yet, but here I have already put it out to the world. Wednesday evening was rather interesting because um, I had put some messages out to a couple of people in comments on a few of the previous videos saying that I would like to possibly get them to email me so we could talk about possibly having a zoom interview that I can share here on the channel and that's something I would like to announce today that I'm interested in hearing from you if you've documented your story on carnivore diet and you would like to share that with me that I can share with my audience and that we can help each other grow maybe you're not really interested in doing a whole YouTube channel I can understand it's a lot of work um, but you'd like to still get your story out there let me know because I'd like to talk to you and find out more about what other people's experiences have been and maybe we can bring more information into one place that's going to help more people because just one experience is not enough even for me it's uh, something I would like to be able to talk to you about and I think that there's a lot of people out there who would really love to share their story so please let me know but I had put this out to a couple of people and I haven't seen a whole lot in the email on it but I did get an email from one gentleman named Bryant Pearson. Now Bryant Pearson turns out was uh, not one of the people that I had reached out to, but I think maybe he saw one of those messages. It was a little unclear. Um, but we were both asking each other for clarity back and forth in the email. But uh, I said, you know what? He, he said he's the uh, pastor or youth pastor at a church or he has a group, a church group that was interested in talking about the carnivore diet and that he would like me to come and speak to them on the, the Zoom call 
So I wasn't really certain what I was getting into. It's obvious now, but at first I was thinking the wrong lines and we got our wires crossed, but it was such a blessing to meet these other people who were telling me their stories about how he had gone from well over 300 pounds down to under 150 pounds. And I thought, my goodness, if I, if I got down to 150 pounds, I'd have to cut off a limb. But <laughs> he made it look good. And I know there's a lot of other stories out there like that. But that was such a, a unique moment for me to be able to have that opportunity to speak with them and find out where the real questions are to be able to answer those things. Because a lot of times coming up with this just off the cuff, I feel like I'm not addressing the issues as well as I should, I would like. And I don't always know exactly what to bring you, but I want to be able to talk to you about things that are going to be helpful and encouraging to not only your diet and lifestyle for your health, but also for your mental health and for your spiritual health. Now, I've been in a spiritual battle since Wednesday. So it's amazing to me that right after a circumstance comes along like that to be able to have this wonderful positive event with a youth group. Thursday morning, I was faced with a brand new challenge. Um, and also, as a matter of fact, there was a wonderful success Wednesday in my regular job that was uh, I didn't even mention. But I don't want to go into too much detail because it's a very, there's a lot of stuff I can't talk about that relates to my, my work. So let's just say it was, a, it was a big plus Wednesday. So Wednesday all the way around was an amazing day. I had even driven to Tampa that morning and had to come back. So busy day, productive day opportunity to talk to more people and to have a wonderful experience well Thursday was ready for me when I woke up I got a call from my brother and um, gosh I, I wanna the feeling that came on me because my brother doesn't call me all that often I had just called him Wednesday to tell him about my success on the road and I tried to call my mother and let her know, but she wasn't answering her phone. And I, I thought, well, where, what's going on? Well, my brother told me that she and uh, her husband, my stepfather, had gone on a cruise with her sister and her sister's husband. And that my stepfather had died suddenly. Now, this is really hard for me to talk about, but I feel like it's something that needs to be talked about in the current climate, even if it causes problems, because it's very upsetting. My stepfather was 82 years old, but he was the healthiest 82 year old you probably ever saw, as far as being active, um, mobile, he worked nonstop. I used to joke that he worked twice as hard as any two men half his age, which made him like, what, six times more powerful? He was amazing, and his mind was sharp. His mother had already lived to be almost 100 and passed not too, too many years ago. But, you know, he was showing no signs of having any any health issues that she even developed later in life, he was doing very well. And he just died suddenly. Out of respect for my stepfather's extended family and for him, I don't want to go into too much detail, but for somebody who didn't have any signs of an issue that were pending for just going like that he did and I don't know how to talk about that with you because I gotta tell you it has been such a struggle the past 24 hours to get over the loss of him to, 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 to get through the fact that my that he's not there for my mother this man who has been in my life for 30 plus years now 
and been he was my father longer than my father was my father died when I was 18 years old so I'm still processing this grief but just like with my job I have a responsibility to my employer still stick with it and I have a responsibility to my family to still stick with it I have a responsibility to myself to stick with it even though I'm angry and confused and hurting I just knew I had to be here today because you guys are important to me too and it's 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 really a lesson in impersonal love because lately I've been talking to you but I don't know you as much I get your comments and so many of your comments are so encouraging and strengthening and build me up which I appreciate I take the I take the harsh ones too much to heart and I'm working on that but it's been a learning experience not only on this diet but also talking to you guys and being able to share with you all of these things and I don't always know where it's gonna go when I start even making a video like this like today I just knew I had to get up and get started and get back into it because I'd already taken a couple days off to rest after the game and I felt like I was oh goodness that's that's not usual for me but I mean I was exhausted that that all day out there was the most I've been through <laughs> and uh, even the boys and Katie were just exhausted all week long so getting back on track today all I've had today is a drink with some electrolytes and decided I got to get back up and get on the road because life goes on life goes on and there's nothing about any of this that God didn't plan for and provide for so get up it's time if you haven't done it say screw it I'm gonna get up and do it don't let anything stand in your way of being strong so that you can be there for your family when they need you my mother needs me tomorrow this happened while they were on a cruise so I've got to meet her tomorrow to pick her up but this is what I've been talking about folks there's there's plenty of reasons that we can all share as to why we have a, as a people have become unhealthy and weak there's no reason for us to keep letting that be an excuse when we now know that carnivore living can make a huge difference in your mind and your body and it can help you even if you're focused in the right way to straighten out your spiritual life in certain regards to where your mental health your spiritual health and your physical health all start to get more in cycle together whether you're you're humming on all eight cylinders because life is gonna be full of tragedy life is gonna have these difficult moments and you want to be strong enough to face them I'll see you next time